This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to show how to find a maximum or minimum point using the TI-83 or 84 calculators. Now, if you're not familiar with the term maximum or minimum, all this means is the high point on a graph or the low point on a graph. If you're dealing with a parabola, you might be calling it a vertex. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Let's start out by finding a maximum. In the calculator, I've, I've got this graph of a parabola, and I want to find the high point here, the maximum. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press second and then trace, and then maximum is number four. I can either press the number four or I can use my cursor buttons to move down to the four and then press enter. Now at the bottom of the screen, it's asking me this question. It's saying left bound. What that means is it wants to know some place to the left of where I want it to look. So the, here's where this little cursor is now. I'm going to use the left arrow key to move over to the left of that high point. There we are. And I'll press enter. And now it's asking me for the right bound. So I'll use the right key to move over to the right of the point I'm looking for. I'll press enter again. Here you can see these two little arrows to the left and right of the point I want, showing me that that's where the calculator is going to look. Now the calculator says guess. Well, when it says guess, we just press enter again. And here it's giving me an answer. It's saying that the coordinates for this point, this maximum point, are x equals 4 point, and there's a bunch of zeros followed by a 1, and y equals 6. Well, the way the calculator works is it kind of tries to get closer and closer and closer, and at a certain point it stops. The actual coordinates for this should just be 4 and 6. So if you see something with that's very, very close to some nice whole number, let's say, then you can just round it to the whole number. So we're going to say the coordinates for this point are 4, 6. Okay? Now, let's say you want to find a minimum. Basically, we're going to use more or less the same process. Let me change the, uh, the equation that I have here so we have something with a minimum. And let's see, I'll make this um, a 2 and maybe a minus 5. Okay, so that should give me a minimum point. Okay, so here's a parabola. It's opening upwards, so the vertex is down at the bottom. And I want to find the minimum point. Okay, so I'm going to once again press second and trace. And here I'm looking for the minimum, so I want this third one. I can just press the three. And once again, it's asking me left bound. Okay, so here's my cursor, my little marker. I'll move it a little closer. So I just want to make sure that it's to the left of the point I'm looking for. Since it is, I can press enter. And now it's asking me about the right bound. So I want to go to the right, right of the point that we're looking for. That's good. Press enter again. There are the two arrows showing me where it's going to look. It's going to look somewhere in between those two arrows. So right down here. It's asking me about guess. I just press enter again. And once again, it hasn't rounded the answer completely, but it should be 2, comma, negative 5. We're seeing that in the bottom of the, of the calculator screen. Okay. So that's basically all there is to this. Practice it a couple of times. It becomes a fairly easy process for you to do. That's about it. Take care. I'll see you next time.